Well, hello and welcome to Dreams of Wings and welcome to something that's quite exciting. Um, this is uh, slightly different to the kind of thing you'd normally see on this channel. There's no warbirds or anything like that in this. It's just something that I wanted to share with you because I actually think it's quite exciting and I think it's quite exciting for the flight sim hobby as a whole and especially to anyone who's new to this. Now, um, Parallel 42 who are behind Chase Plane which is a fantastic tool that I use in P3D for cameras. I've just launched the early access version of something called Skypark, which if you haven't heard of it, and I'm guessing you're watching this because perhaps you have heard of it, is a um, what looks like a really great way of giving you a reason to fly. Now, one of the main challenges with flight simming is uh, once you've you've got it, especially if you're new to it and you've flown around, your local area where you live or you've gone to some some landmarks to have a look at that you kind of think well what do i do now and i know some years ago i had this this issue back before i discovered add-ons and things like that and i was getting bored with flight sim because i was going from a to b no purpose to it trying to come up with reasons to fly um there wasn't a great deal of fun in it and i actually moved away from flight simming and only really came back when I discovered A2A and, the, and my reason for flying came to be to study these aircraft, master them and all that sort of thing. Um, what uh, the Sky Park does is uh, through uh, generating uh, jobs, basically you're a contract uh, pilot for a company um, or two companies, there's a light side and a dark side, which I just think is a brilliant twist. Uh, we'll talk more about that. Um, you're a contract pilot and you take on jobs. And this is what we're going to do now. We're going to, I've not run this yet. Um, we're, I'm going to run it for the first time and uh, we're going to see what happens. So we'll talk more about it once we get in the air. But uh, I just wanted to give a brief introduction to this video and explain kind of what it's about really so let's start up uh it's called the sky part but what we're actually going to use is the sky pad and it's a virtual tablet and this is where it, all the magic happens so let's open it up and hope it there we go so as you can see uh <laughs> this is so cool um sorry i really haven't this is the first time i've opened it up um so this is just like a uh just like an ipad uh we've got a sleep button um we've got a home button so uh let's go for dark i quite i quite like that do you want this ipad to stay on top of the simulation yes because we need to keep an eye on it welcome to clear sky i'm bridget You'll occasionally hear from me while you're zooming around the sky park, but today I'm excited to teach you how to use your new sky pad. I'll need a few minutes of your time, then you'll be ready for your first flight. We'll start with contracts. Contracts is where you browse for available things to do, such as cargo runs, new experiences, tours, ferry flights, and more. Are you looking to use a specific aircraft or fly a certain distance? Click on filters at the top and explore the many options available to find your perfect flight. You can also roll the dice there for a random contract if you can't make up your mind. Once you select a contract, you'll need a place to manage it. For this, we use an app called Conduit. It's a great contract management app that displays details for the contracts you've requested. When you have a contract active, Conduit will show you detailed checklists showing what you need to get done. You can also see a history of contracts you've completed successfully and even those you failed. Next up, we have YoFlight. Think of it like an electronic flight bag. I know some of you have advanced tools or trackers you may use, which is perfectly okay, but we wanted to provide you with some essentials right here on your SkyPad while you're in flight. In YoFlight, you can plan and track your flight and even manage contract checklist items such as loading and unloading cargo. Using YoFlight is super easy. Poke around, you can't break it. Now let's move on to some of the personal apps you've got installed. All pilots on the Sky Park get free banking with stranded holdings. Financials can be viewed in the pre-installed holdings app. This info includes your current bank balance and details on deposits and expenses. 
Over time, you'll have additional operational costs, so you may want to keep a close eye on those finances. Progress is where we track your performance on the Sky Park. If you ever feel the need to check in on how you're doing, this is where. At a glance, you can check your current bank balance, XP, and Karma. Let's go over each of those real quick and how they affect what you see. The first thing here is your current bank balance. They say money doesn't buy happiness, but I would much rather cry on a biz jet. You'll need money to make money, so keep an eye on that balance. And remember, you can always visit the Holdings app for more details. XP is a measure of your experience as a pilot. XP always moves up as there is something new to learn in every adventure. You'll want to earn XP as quickly as you can so you can level up and get more exciting contracts. Now, karma is always shifting. It moves in the direction of either good or bad, depending on the types of contracts you accept. Right, I heard of a new company called Coyote on the platform. They like to try to steal our best pilots for shady contracts. <laughs> Your karma has a direct impact on what company contracts are That's available to you. Smart idea. Not seeing enough of the company you're looking for? How's your karma? There's also a reliability score for each pilot. Now, this is kept confidential, but if you really want to know what yours is, you'll need to take me to lunch first. Fly into KMKC in Kansas City, and I'll set it visible for a few hours. Next is the settings app. Look, if I need to explain this to you, just turn in your pilot's license. Okay, I think we're all set here. Let's start your first flight. Click on contracts, pick an available contract, and head over to the starting airport. Your flight trainer will meet you there. I've got another onboarding session in five minutes. Bye. <laughs> okay, so we've got to do a training flight. Let's uh, come out of here. Uh, let's have a look. I love that idea of the um, the kind of good side and the dark side. Uh, it just gives you something else to play with. Uh, and as I understand it, the um, the coyote contracts are, well, as she said, shady. So it probably presents you with different challenges. So you've kind of got to probably dodge... Um, I don't know. I, I haven't a clue, but I just think it's a great idea. Again, it's a way of shaking up your purpose for flying. It's not just a case of move box A from or box from point A to point B. Good idea. Right, let's have a look. I kind of need to keep this to half an hour, so hopefully it won't be too long. No transponder. Please start the transponder to... Okay. So what have I done wrong? Okay, so what we were meant to do and what I would have done had I read the manual is uh, start the transponder and then that connects everything up. See, this, this is why. Just read the manual. It saves you so much bother. Okay, so um, we've done that. Now go into uh, contracts, and this is where we get. This is where we pick up our jobs. So uh, we've got some um, training flights. I'm going to start off. That's quite handy. That's 25 nautical miles, so it's not uh, it's not a long one. And that's kind of what we're looking for, is because I have to keep this video to half an hour if possible. So we are going. Uh, see, so intuitive. Just using the mouse wheel, you can zoom in. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, so we're going from Acadiana, Acada, Acadiana Regional to Kibbs. Nice, nice little route. Uh, so let's have a look at info. So I've not. <laughs> As I've already said, it not read the manual, so just I'm kind of discovering this with you at the same time, which is kind of cool. Uh, so this is a flight for Clear Sky, so this is for the good guys, everything above board, everything legal. We don't need to keep an eye out for the cops, anything like that. Uh, we are going to. I'm going to see if I can use the uh, DA62. Da 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 da. Uh, jump straight into your first flight with Jeff. He will guide you through workflows on the Skypad. Cool. So let's go for it. You're about to request a contract. Contracts live in documents. When you see one you like, request it. This doesn't guarantee you get it. This is something I heard earlier, actually, that um, 
if you're not quick, someone else will grab the contract instead. So it's quite a um, quite a fluid, active thing that's going on. World, that's the thing. Uh, okay, let's do it. Oh, hey. I'll be with you in a sec. Just okay. finishing up some paperwork on a new pilot. In the meantime, load into our departure airport and let me know when you're on the ground and ready to start. So we need to get to Kara. So you are going to have to bear with me because I am not... No, I am not used to really using flights in 2020 yet. Uh, so let's go to the main menu. Was it Kara? Okay, world map. Kara. And we will um, start off parking. I'm going to select day. There we go, morning. There we go. Okay. Let's go. Get the old uh, sky pad up. I do love this. Apparently, um, so at the moment you're just you, it's just one price for this. Uh, and then in the future, there'll be an option to pay a subscription to get another kind of another layer to it where it will be more cloud based and there'll be uh, more kind of goodies going on um, that I guess they can only really do by having it cloud based and having it connected up to everybody and content will be injected into it. And I believe also you'll have the option to put the sky pad actually onto an iPad, which is again, is a brilliant idea. Um, they've really thought this through. They've really thought this through. I like that. Okay, so uh, ready to fly. There we go. So we're parked up. Nice morning. Uh, let's pin this. There we go. Let's pin this there. Right. Um, so we're ready to go pick up sky pads. Not entirely sure what to do there, but let's click next. Oh, we shouldn't have done that. Okay, pick up sky pads. Come on, what am I meant to do? Is it anything obvious? Try that. Here's what needs to be done right now. Ready to go, start training flight. Okay, ready to go. Yeah, I'm obviously missing something here. Start training flight. Hello. Welcome to the Sky Park. My name is Jeff, but my friends call me the Maestro. Bridget asked that I show you the ropes, so here we are. She introduced you to the Sky Pad, but I'll walk you through the flow of using it to make some money. We use the Sky Pad to find, plan, and track all of our flights, so don't lose it. Since you've already requested this flight, you may be in the Conduit app. If you're not, click Conduit from the home screen. Conduit displays additional information and a checklist for each contract. The top will always show the current to-do item, but don't touch that yet. Let's keep scrolling down. That bit of art there above the plane icons, that's the elevation profile for this flight. I like to think of it as an indicator of how scenic a flight will be. The plane icons let you know what aircraft type is recommended based on many variables in the contract. It's smart, maybe smarter than us. 
Follow those recommendations unless you like a good challenge. Remember, on the Sky Park, you can fly whatever you own as long as you get the job done. Next, you see some information on distance, highest obstacle, and the most critical bit of info, expiration date. You've got to be a reliable pilot to get better pay and additional perks in the future. They track that stuff. Your reliability score is hidden from you on the Progress app. But here's a tip for a new friend. Anytime you want to know your current score, take Bridget to lunch by flying to KMKC Downtown Airport in Kansas City, and she'll make it visible for a bit. She looks out for her pilots. It's good to have a friend on the inside. Below that section is your checklist. You'll find details on each airstrip and to-do items along the way. These automatically check off as they are completed. The last bit of info shows who you're working for, details on how this flight will affect your career, and last but not least, your pay. A loadmaster will handle things in the back. You'll have one with you on every flight, but they're not always talkative. Keep on their good side, as they can be cranky in the mornings. Remember that not all contracts are cargo. Some are for karma, some for XP, and others just for cash. Time to go. Scroll up to the top and click load. Just going to uh, quickly get a little love map up. Okay. This actually has a map in it, but I just wanted to get an idea of where we were, okay. Okay, dokie. Load. Now let's plan this flight. Click on the plan flight button to enter the Yo Flight app. Yo Flight will track you on a moving map. You can even zoom in to see airport details. In the top right, you'll find some view selectors 2D, 3D, north up, and track aircraft. Below those are some options to manipulate elevation data. The SkyPad will program a direct flight for each contract. If you want to fly a custom route, you can always click the Load PLN button and use a custom flight plan. Fancy, huh? We're going to take a direct route today, so hit the Fly button. OK, taxi to the runway and take to the skies. The moving map will track our movements. You have control. Wake me up when we're halfway there for a quick check-in. <laughs> okay. Wake me up before you go-go. <laughs> right, so <laughs> we'll leave that there. Sorry for any DA62 purists. I'm going to do a very quick start-up because I don't want to hang about. Okay, fuel on. Let's have power. Locking brakes on. Okay. Let's bring it back a bit. There we go. Now I want you to stay there. Okay, let's uh I'm not gonna plug anything into the avionics, we're just gonna fly it using the sky pad. Almost uh, as if the sky pad was the um, uh, GPS. Now, why are we not? Have I got a funny. There we go. Oh, 
Parking brake is off, so we should be good. Make sure we don't run into the, uh, the ground chaps. Trying to keep this uh, the skypad on this screen. Um, what I would normally do, I guess, is put it onto my other screen so it's not quite in the way. But I kind of want you to be able to see it. This is a fast taxi. funny flying P3D all the time and I've flown the DA62 in P3D the Vertex one how different it feels in um, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator it's kind of familiar but not if that makes sense Way I'm taxiing this, I should be flying for the dark side, really, shouldn't I? Right, let's get the landing light on. Position lights and strobe. Everything's looking good. I'm kind of being a bit silly, really. I'm um, not really taking this very seriously in terms of the actual aircraft systems, but hey ho. If I can just. Yeah, beautiful. Zoom that out. Seems to take a lot of power to want to get it moving. Okay, let's line up. And I just realised that because of where I've got this camera with my ugly mug on it, you can't see all of that. So let's put that there. Okay. Let's get airborne. Okay, and let's follow the the magenta line of destiny. Let's uh, take the landing light off now. Okay. a bit. So there we go, nicely on course. You can see our progress there on the map. 
That is a great little feature. Got a lot of useful information on there as well. I think what, um, as I understand it, what is really cool about... Don't you... There we go. What's really cool about this is... Um, regardless of what you want to do on it, so someone like me that doesn't fly tube liners and, and really just flies GA, um, there's plenty for me to get stuck into. Uh, but I understand also if you go to the heavies, um, you can do stuff with it too. I think it's it, what's interesting is that what this does is... Uh, it opens up a whole world of different uh, jobs that you can do and you can tailor it to the kind of flying that you like to do. And I think for someone new to simming, that's just great because it takes away that idea of loading up the sim. Okay, what do I do now? Do I fly from A to B or, you know, what do I actually do? What this does is actually gives you a reason for doing it. And gives you uh, gives you something to work towards as you build up money in the future. As I understand it, there'll be ways to spend that money. Um, and the great thing is also it's not it's not a business sim. You're the contract pilot. They're the company. Whether you're flying for the good guys or the bad guys, they're the company. Your job is to fly the plane, which is kind of what attracts me to it. Um, I'm not really into the, the business sims. I get enough of that with the day job. But what this allows you to do is have some fun as a pilot. Let them run the company. You do the flying. And uh, potentially avoiding the um, authorities if you go for the dark side. So this is great. This is a nice short little flight. Gives us a chance to see how it works. Everything's, what I like about this is um, everything is really well thought out. The fact that even the tutorial, it's not like a two hour flight somewhere. They kind of understand that what you want to do is get up, have a quick flight, see how it works and um, get a taster for it, which is very clever. Again, I keep using that word clever. Excuse me while I have a slurp of coffee. Cheers. I think what's exciting about this also is the opportunities for expansion in the future. I think this really does feel like something that um, is going to grow. And, uh, you know, the Parallel 42 guys are, uh, you know, quite inventive and totally get what this is about and I think there's going to be some very interesting stuff uh, added along the way which is uh, is going to be worth hanging around for so yeah at the moment this is the early access version that you can was released today I bought this this morning and installed it and this is the first chance I've had to to fly it oh hi everything looks good and the load is still on the plane I hope you got to poke around no flight a bit more Lots of data is available to you while you're in flight, and it's always getting updated with cool new features. Okay, another little power nap. Wake me up when we are on the ground. Yes, this means you better butter that landing. That's cool. seem to be doing anything at the moment. I'm just afraid to come out of this in case I break it. it really does... Uh, it's a great idea, this, this feeding of this is actually a tablet. 
you know, it's a good way of implementing it instead of it being like another program on your computer that sits in a window. They've actually made something that feels a little bit more um, tangible, which is smart. The other great thing about this is that, um, y you know, if you suddenly get, like, if I suddenly got a phone call now, um, or I suddenly had to leave this to go and do something, I can do that. Uh, and as long as I am, I don't know if it will show it here. Probably not got it set up. As long as you are within a, uh, a circle, which I'm not seeing here, so maybe I've not got the, um, the view up. Um, as long as you're within a circle, you can restart from that position. Uh, so it means that you're not going to lose it as long as you as long as you complete the job within the date shown on the that first screen you're absolutely fine so you're never going to lose anything and it, again it kind of fits in around what you're doing and I, I kind of like that you're not you're not a slave to the uh, to the job because you're having a good time the whole point of this is to relax and enjoy yourself and it means that you can, uh, you know, if you do need to go for whatever reason, you can do without incurring any kind of penalty, which again is great, especially for people who are new to simming. Um, it might feel quite daunting if you thought, Christ, I've got to spend the next two hours sitting here and I cannot move from my chair. I must sit here like this and not go anywhere. Um, with this, you can do, which is quite good. Have a quick check of the wind. Oh, that's clever. I've closed it. We really are not following rules on this, are we? We're just messing about. I just wanted to jump in quickly and show you how this works. So let's chop the power. We're not visual with the. Uh, other airfield yet. But it is there somewhere. So we'll just bring the power down. Drop the gear. There's a runway out there somewhere. Get some flat. Trimmer out. Now, am I being just completely blind? Is that it there? So it doesn't look like a runway. And this is why you always do your homework. So that you know where you're actually landing. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to stop dangling everything. 
Let's actually take a look first at where we're actually landing. Instead of being an idiot and just... Coming in like that. We'll get a look at the runway first and then we can... Uh, decide what we're doing. So yeah, DA-62, lovely aircraft. Um, had great fun flying this in uh, P3D. Got quite a striking look to it. It's a very modern design. Almost looks quite aquatic. Is that a runway there? Guess it is. grass strip. That's cool. So let's take her in. The visuals in this sim are just absolutely beautiful. They really are. Okay. Configure to land, so power off. Let's get the landing light on. flat, three greens, Yeah, I think the uh, the ability to play the two companies, the uh, legal above board squeaky clean one and the, the dodgy jobs one, is, is you know an interesting idea because it means that you, you've got the option of a bit of thrill seeking as well. And the karma meter, presumably, uh, the badder you get, the bigger the jobs you get. That's what I want. Quick check, everything's good. Come on. Wow, 
Wow, it takes a lot of power to get it to move. Let's raise the flaps. Uh, we'll just park up here. Okay. So, let's quickly do the parking brake. Let's turn the avionics off. Wow, never even turned them on. Really? Okay. We didn't need them anyway. Who needs avionics? Uh, okay. Okay, you can unload the aircraft right here in YoFlight, or you can also handle that in Conduit. For simplicity, let's do it here. Time is money. To complete the contract, click on the green deliver button at the bottom of the screen. Uh, okay, so I wonder if I should try going into there. Uh, Deliver. You're all set. The funds have now been transferred to my bank account. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Dude. It's all yours today, but you should verify I did the, all the work. app when we're done here. You know, just in case. Hmm. I hope you enjoyed your first flight on the Sky Park, and best of luck on your future adventures. One last tip. The coyote folks aren't as friendly as we are at Clear Sky, so choose your work wisely. Thank you. I love it. Okay, so let's. Um, so we've got up 48 XP. We've got a bit of dough. We have got some points there. We were playing as a good guy, so we've uh, we've got 0 0.1 plus calm. Uh, let's go back to the main screen here. Let's have a look at the bank. There we go. We earned 25 dollars. Not bad. Not bad for a day's aviating, as we like to say in the trade, you know what I mean? Um, progress, let's have a quick look there. That's kind of what we were looking at before. Uh, I love this. I think this is really this is really a good idea for anybody who uh, needs a quick reason to fly, uh, doesn't want to manage a business, wants to fly different types of aircraft, obviously. Um and have this cool kind of interface that feels very tangible. Um, yeah, this wasn't a review or anything, by the way. This was just me uh, taking it up for the first time and having a look at it. But it's kind of everything that I, I expected it to be. And I really do think this is, it should almost come with Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, for anyone who is is new to this sort of thing, because what it will do is give you that reason to fly and each time uh, it'll give you something a little bit different presumably but also give you the option to choose again you've got the option to choose what you do with it and that's great it's it's almost um you know an old fart like me i'm flying warbirds a lot in p3d but if you are you know if you like to fly ga aircraft um and do this kind of thing um it kind of revolutionizes the sim for you really and my understanding is that if you do VATSIM and all that kind of stuff as well, that all works with this. So this isn't like a uh, something else. This is this works with everything, um, which again is is really quite smart. So uh, very interesting. Looking forward to doing some more flights on this. Um, it will be great once the the really smart aircraft come to it, like the A2A Aerostar. I can imagine doing jobs in the A2A Aerostar and um and that's actually a good point. Um I said before about how if you um 
you know, you don't have to, you, you can kind of switch it off and go away if you have to. The other thing is you don't, like where we are now, if I suddenly decided tomorrow, well, do you know what, I want to fly in Africa, I haven't got to get to Africa to be able to do a job. I can kind of warp there. Um, so again, that gives you the freedom to do that. However, you know, if I wanted to, uh, if I wanted to have the persistent aircraft, uh, but also, which this isn't, by the way, I'm talking about something like A2A or I guess PMDG, I don't know. Don't fly PMDG, so I'm not sure how it works. But uh, if I wanted to kind of pretend that, right, I'm here now, I'm going to take a mission somewhere else, but I've got to fly from here, I can do that. So it gives me the freedom to, to run it how I want to run it, which again, I think is uh, is quite clever. So, you know, from someone here who really hasn't done much with flight, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator yet, because the aircraft aren't necessarily there that interests me. What this has done now is given me something fun to uh, to uh, explore with and, um, you know, give, it's actually given me a reason to come to Microsoft Flight Simulator, uh, which is pretty cool. But, you know, I really do, anyone who's new to flight simming, um, this this is a great way of getting into it. It's a great way of seeing the world. Uh, again, because flight simulators, especially this one, give you the world to fly in. Uh, and there's so much to explore with this one because of the way the scenery works. I mean, my Lord, it's kind of everything. Um, this is a good way of doing that. It's a good way of uh, having a reason to go to a certain place. Um, very clever. Really impressed with it. Anyway, enough of that. I just wanted to show it to you. Um, I've been excited about it coming along um, and uh, I just, yeah, I just wanted to share it with you. So I hope you enjoyed that. There's a whole lot more to it, um, but uh, I mean, these are all jobs that you can take here. Now that we've done the training uh, section, you can see all these different routes. We can select our jobs down here. Um, I guess we're seeing a weather forecast there of what's coming in. It's just got everything. It is so clever. So, so clever. Anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching.